Hi there. I was asked a while ago to tell a bit about my oil burner. Uh, the burner that I'm using when I'm melting aluminium and brass. So here we go. The fuel is coming in here through this wall and uh, I can open and close it obviously. And the air pressure gets in here and I can adjust the pressure with this. And I normally use uh, about 1.5 to 2 bars air pressure. And here is an uh, inlet uh, for the fan that blows air into the burner. You get a uh, much hotter flame then and it's uh, working really good in fact. Uh, I, I'm now going to take the burner apart and tell you more about how it is constructed and how it works. Okay, here is the burner which I've been taking apart. Here are all the parts, and uh, it's function like this. Here you get the fuel in through this pipe, and in the other end, this jet goes on, and it's screwed on by this uh, special tool that I made, so I can screw it on on and off and uh, the jet size let's check it out 2.7 millimeters and through this pipe this pipe goes and through this pipe the air pressure comes in here and goes out there and this angle is uh, 60 degrees and the hole is diameter of the hole is 1.5 millimeters and the 60 degree angle is also here so this goes like this and then I can adjust it so I get a little bit space and the air which is going through this draws the fuel with it and it then comes out of the jet like a steam so to speak and then I can fire it up and this uh, one got a o-ring here there's a ceiling in this so it won't leak out anything and in this end there's a gasket it goes on here this 
and it seals so no all fuel or anything gets out leakage and this burner tube goes on like this and it's adjustable so you can adjust it to get the best flame and the best heat and the diameter of this burner tube is 56.7 and this one 50.6 and this tube 21.2 and this air tube 15.55 about and uh, I also made this to the hose this goes down to the fuel tank and uh, I'm avoiding it getting in to the bottom with this little thing yeah, because in the bottom they could could be a uh, much sludge or something like that and that would, would uh, that will uh, get in the jet and then uh, it's not function properly and uh, here is the pipe where the fan blows air through gets in this and out and uh, the fan is looking like this it's from an old car uh, Volkswagen 411 69 and uh, this one is plugged and there's the pipe the air goes and it goes in here like so and uh, I can adjust the speed of the fan with this uh, control, electronic control, PWM, like this, and uh, the power gets in here, 12 volt DC, pretty simple. I will now mount the burner together again. Okay. I start with mounting the jet. like so and then I think I'm going to mount this and I'm using a little bit of silicone grease on this o-ring like so and this one goes in here like so and this nut goes on here like so and uh, now I'm going to use a little of this gasket sealing very good one actually I put some on here I think that will do. And this goes on here. Pretty tight fitting here, you know, like so. And the screws goes on, goes in like this. Tighten them up
like so. And this one goes on here. So, and this one, the regulator wall goes on here. Tighten it up a bit, like so. This pipe is laying again against the jet, and uh, I usually open it about this and lock it with this nut. And uh, this burner tube goes on here. You can adjust it like this, but I usually set it like. About here. So, and the fuel hose goes on here. Like so, tighten this clamp. And now the burner is put together again and ready for use. Thanks for watching.